team. So today we'll talk about getting to start with uh, cross-teaching and uh, probably just make a small introduction. My, my name is Diana. And I'm Kia Ping. Kia Ping. Kia Ping. Yeah. And then Shin. Shin. Yeah. Melissa. Melissa. Linus. Linus. Okay. Yeah. So my name is Diana. So along the way, uh, I have my colleagues with me as well. So if you have any questions, you can actually let us know. So we will try our best to actually answer all your questions uh, with regards to cross teaching and any other form of uh, crafting techniques. Yeah. Um, there's no screen? Okay. So just a bit of background about DMC. Um, so we are actually a French company and this year is our 270 years uh, anniversary. So we started off uh, found in uh, France in 1746 and we are the uh, most uh, well-known, uh, considered one of the most well-known makers of uh, embroidered tracks uh, in, uh, in the whole world. And uh, to today, our most basic track, uh, Article 117, is still manufactured in France uh, in our uh, Mount House factory. And uh, we also carry some other awards for different kind of tracks. And uh, under the brand of DMC, we have Philo One, which is a, a French origin uh, brand. Uh, it's actually a, a quality ribbon and bias maker. And we have Charles Craft, which is a needlework fabric maker, which is a USA um, brand. So I will show you a short video about uh, how DMC tracks has been made. Escape from the video. There's nothing shown on screen. No, it's not showing the display. You said to duplicate more. Yeah, okay. How do we duplicate more? Okay, okay. okay everybody wants to ask. So this one... de toiles peintes qui se sont implantées à Mulhouse dès 1746. A partir de la fin des années 1880, l'entreprise ne produit plus que du fil. Le fil d'Alsace pour coudre d'abord à partir de 1841, 
Le fameux moulinet spécial étant lancé en 1899 avec un principe révolutionnaire de fil divisible. Parallèlement, l'entreprise se donne une dimension artistique en faisant collecter à travers toute l'Europe une série d'échantillons de tissus, de broderies, de dentelles pour alimenter une bibliothèque, laquelle bibliothèque devra servir de source d'inspiration à toute une série de modèles. C'est le même esprit qui anime Jean Dolfus lorsqu'il invite Thérèse de Dinon à s'installer à Dornac en 1884. Elle publie son encyclopédie en 1886 car, pour vendre le fil, il faut inciter à coudre et à broder. Le processus de production commence lorsque le fil constitué de ces fibres de coton est flambé pour éliminer les fibrilles à la périphérie du fil. Après cette opération, la fabrication passe par une étape de retordage qui consiste à regrouper plusieurs fils en leur donnant de la torsion pour constituer la structure de notre fil mouliné. Après des vidages, le fil mouliné est mis sous forme d'écheveau afin de le préparer aux opérations de mercerisage et teinture dans les meilleures conditions qualitatives possibles. Les écheveaux sont ainsi plongés dans un bain de soude pour leur donner une grande brillance et une meilleure résistance, c'est le mercerisage. Ensuite vient l'étape essentielle de teinture qui consiste à appliquer plusieurs types de procédés afin d'obtenir un coloris avec les meilleures solidités teintoriales du marché. Les écheveaux teints étant humides, ils sont conduits dans un tunnel à air chaud pour être séchés afin de donner au fil souplesse et gonflant. Le cycle s'achève par l'étape de conditionnement du fil qui va le présenter selon plusieurs formats de commercialisation, principalement le moulinet et les chevettes. Quelques images, le processus de fabrication du fil dans notre usine de Mulhouse, fil réalisé avec grande qualité et respect de l'environnement. L'utilisation du fil DMC ne se limite pas aux seules créations de broderies traditionnelles. Pour exemple, découvrons quelques créations de jeunes artistes exposées à l'écomusée textile du parc de Wesserling en Alsace. le voir, certains de ces artistes nous ouvrent de nouvelles portes et nous emportent dans un monde surprenant. Le fil DMC reste bien sûr un vecteur de création pour la broderie traditionnelle, une tradition artisanale présente partout dans le monde. Le fil DMC, intemporel, actuel, est le produit d'excellence au service de l'univers des couleurs pour répondre à ces créations d'artisans d'exception et d'artistes innovants. L'excellence du fil DMC reste exceptionnelle par sa palette coloristique sans égale, sa brillance et ses qualités techniques. Okay, so that basically um, is a short corporate video about uh, what DMC is all about and. Um, So today we we'll talk about like the most basic type of uh, cross stitching. So cross stitch is actually uh, one of the oldest form of embroidery uh, uh, technique that we use for all needlework crafting. So uh, and over here uh, you can see that we have some uh, very old museum pieces uh, that used uh, that is from DMC Museum. And uh, the most common type of uh, sampler, cross stitch sampler that was used uh, in the olden days is a lot of uh, the alphabet designs and things like that. So um, traditionally, all these uh, alphabet designs are being taught in schools uh, for all the ladies at home to, to start doing um, embroidery. So they will uh, start off with uh, doing cross stitching and then uh, followed by, you know, it is uh, spread across to uh, all the household items such as uh, tablecloth, dishcloth and uh, etc. So um, this is a chart, uh, a sample chart of how you actually uh, differentiate between different kind of fabric counts uh, on different kind of uh, cross stitch craft. 
So how do you actually measure, uh, if let's say you're going to start your cross-stitch work, so how you uh, actually measure like the count, uh, the fabric count that you require. So usually we'll start off with, uh, you know, the smallest number uh, over here on the top left. 11 count is stand for the most basic type of uh, cross-stitch fabric. So the higher the count is, the more complicated the design is. And you can see that the work of uh, the bears uh, is much more detailed and uh, delicate. Yeah. And uh, how you actually measure on the fabric is uh, on the on your fabric, right? I actually pass on the fabric for uh, all the participants here. So you can actually take a ruler and you measure. So one inch uh, is equal for every one inch when you count the number of squares on the fabric, right? Uh, it's equivalent to how many counts uh, this particular fabric is. So usually is uh, the one that you are having is about eleven pounds. So that one is actually the beginner cross-stitch uh, uh, fabric. I doubt. You call it the I doubt. So the most popular type of uh, cross-stitch fabric is called uh, Ida fabric and, uh, and usually we will start off, for beginners we will start off using Ida because it's uh, the most uh, easiest to ha uh, handle and you can actually, um, the, the small holes in between the fabric you can actually cross-stitch them according to the holes and it's very easy to, uh, for beginners. And uh, how do we actually wash and iron on the embroidered piece? Uh, usually we'll just use uh, uh, soapy warm water to actually wash uh, the, the fabric once you actually finish the design. And then rinse it with hot water, uh, warm water and then uh, tap it with a towel to actually uh, let it uh, dry. Okay, so if let's say you're going to use, um, you're going to iron your embroidered piece, right? We recommend you to uh, do not, you know, press directly on the piece. You put a uh, towel over it and then uh, on the back and then uh, prevent you from flattening, flattening the embroidery piece. Yeah. So the most basic type of, uh, okay, because DMC actually be uh, we've been around for 270 years, uh, so uh, the number of threads that we carry uh, to today is uh, uh, uncountable, it's really a lot. So today what I'm going to talk about is probably two types of most, uh, the most basic type of thread, uh, which is uh, Moulinet uh, Stranded Cotton Thread, which is, which is um, it consists of um, one skin is uh, six stranded. So this is the most basic type of thread that we use for um, the embroidery pieces. So uh, Veronica actually have. So usually you will see these like hanging at maybe craft shop, like Art Fan or Spotlight, you know. Uh, and and all these pieces we at retail shop we are selling at eighty five cents each. Yeah. So for this kind of uh, stranded cotton, uh, we carry about four hundred and sixty five uh, colors. And then uh, we have other range of uh, shredded cotton as well. So um, the latest stranded cotton that we have is called Colorist. Uh, Colorist is slightly more interesting because, um, sorry, thank you. One skin of uh, the stranded cotton here, it consists of four contrasting colors. So when you stitch it, uh, every five centimeter you will change the design accordingly. So uh, we have about uh, 24 colors uh, to today. So I will pass this around and then you can do it as well. So um, today we'll talk about you know how to really start off uh, doing cross stitching. So. Uh, after you choose your fabric or you, you choose your the number of counts that you want, uh, let's say for example you choose the 11 count, then you choose the kind of thread, the color of the thread that you require for your project. Um, so based on the stranded cotton that we have, uh, one skin itself is 8 meter and it's 6 stranded. So you will need to prepare your thread where 6 stranded, then how you actually uh, split the threads into, usually we'll start off maybe with two uh, two, two tracks. Uh, so you actually split that up and then how you actually prepare your needle to actually um, pierce through 
Yeah, so there's about three, three ways of how you actually uh, thread the needle over. So either with a threader or you can actually pinch and hook the thread over to the needle or you can, not sure whether you'll be able to see, later we'll go around to actually guide those uh, people that require any help. Yeah. So uh, usually for cross stitching, uh, you will gauge uh, cross stitcher work and technique based on the back of the work as well as the front of the work. So at the back of the work, usually they will go according to uh, a pattern. So you will see like, you know, from point one to point two, point three to point four, point five to point six, instead of, you know, all your numbers are jumping around. So you will based on the design that you have actually selected. Uh, we have actually brought some uh, samples down, so later you can take a look as well. So um, you will be able to see like uh, how the cross stitcher actually uh, move according to the count of the fabric. Yeah. So we have some tips over here. Um, when stitching, make sure that your stitching work are flat, and then the tension that you use. Uh, uh, or your thread, when it becomes twisted, right, you will just let go and then make sure that your thread is not twisted. So you let go of the needle and then just make sure that the thread is actually smooth as you embroider a course. And then uh, make sure that all your stitches are all in one direction. And then uh, making sure that the tension that you have on each stitch is even. Uh, you can actually tell by uh, looking at your embroidered work, uh, because if let's say your tension is too tight, your cross stitch piece will, your, your cross will look like it's getting smaller and smaller. So if your tension is too loose, your cross seems to be bigger and bigger, even though the count of your fabric is actually uh, the same. Yeah. And then uh, usually what we recommend is, you know, you can start working on the darker colors first and then you move on to the lighter colors. Yeah. And then, uh, if let's say, yeah, if let's say there's only a few stitches, uh, let's say for example, from point A, you have a few stitches that is, you know, uh, color 666. Color 666 is uh, a red color. Uh, so if let's say you have point A that have a color 666, and then your point 10, which is just a box below, is also color 666. Usually we'll recommend you to, you know, jump across to the next pole instead of you know you have to end your thread and then uh, finish up by using the stitching over method and then uh, you, by you by using the jump over method then you will be able to save time as well as effort on your cross stitching work also okay so here are some techniques uh, on how you actually do uh, other kinds of uh, cross stitching so back stitch uh, back stitch usually is uh, go by a line so usually you will poke it at the back of the fabric and then you stitch it up. So you will keep, your needle point will keep going backwards. That's why we call it the back stitch. Okay, later we can try with uh, the... So this is half stitch. Half stitch, uh, for cross stitch is usually in a box. You'll see a cross. So for half stitch it's very strict. It's, it's very clear. So you only move from point 0.1 to point 0.2, point 0.3 to point 0.4. You do not have to move it back again. So you only form a diagonal line, yeah. And then for quarter stitch, uh, uh, there's some example there. For quarter stitch, uh, you will only use, you have to poke through the eye dart, and then you only form a quarter of the cross itself. Okay, three quarter stitch, which is over here. So you only, you move from point one to point two, and then you, uh, do a quarter stitch here. But usually what we recommend is do the shorter one first and then you follow by the longer one. Yeah, the longer stitch. Okay. French knot uh, is also one of the more popular uh, cross stitch technique where you will actually create a rose-like image, uh, rose-like knot onto your cross stitch work. So you will enhance the entire uh, cross stitch piece on your, on your project as well. So what you will do, you will just roll the thread and then poke it through back into the particular point that you want. Okay, so um, that is all about the techniques of you know how the basic cross stitch usually work. Um, so DMC being a 270 year French company, um, we 
have been creating and innovating all different kinds of uh, traps as well as different kinds of techniques or uh, uh, method to do cross-stitching. So one of the most latest product that we have is called uh, Custom By Me series where we uh, create a magic sheet uh, to actually encourage people to create their own uh, customized piece of work. Uh, just for example, I'm wearing my own stitch work that I've done over the weekend to, to wear it for today. Yeah, so it's that you later you'll be able to see, um, you know, what does the magic sheet uh, look like. So I have a short video to uh, guide you along. Okay, so that is the uh, latest product that we have, the Custom By Me series. Um, you will be able to see some of the magic sheets that we have and then uh, till today we will have about 20 over uh, designs on the magic sheet and when one design, uh, one sheet itself has probably, probably about five different kind of patterns where you can actually cut and then paste on different kind of uh, flat surface uh, t-shirts, uh, bags, you know, things like that to actually start decorating and then customize your own work. Uh, because today we believe that you know, a lot of uh, um, crafters or maybe uh, fashion uh, likers, they actually wanted to, their, uh, to customize their own product or their own bags, you know, things like that. I also love to customize my own uh, piece of work. So um, we have actually continued to uh, create different kind of products and then uh, these are some of the examples that we um, you know, trying to say that you know, cross stitch is not just a traditional piece of work where you actually hang it, uh, hang it at, uh, at your wall at home, but you actually can you know, start stitching and do it to your everyday uh, usable uh, product. Let's say, for example, like a iPhone stitch case, or even like a batch or button that uh, you actually wear day to day. Yeah. So uh, to celebrate our 270th anniversary, we actually uh, launched um, last week our uh, 24K Golden Skin. So this Golden Skin is actually, uh, in the whole wide world, there's only 17,460 boxes. And the reason is because uh, this year is our 270th anniversary and uh, we started off in 1746. So this is actually a, a really very limited edition deluxe box set that uh, DMC France actually produce and handmade on uh, them. So the whole scheme is actually entirely handmade and they actually go through a process, a craft system that is uh, specially produced for this uh, 24K golden skin. 
and then you can see here this craft system uh, is actually uh, done entirely by hand and then each skin uh, actually will have a unique number and unique code that tie along with it. So each skin or each Dulac box set that uh, you purchase will actually come with a unique number. So this um, 24K golden skin, uh, it consists of uh, it's 5 gram weight and uh, 2 gram is the stranded cotton weight and then you have 3 grams of gold inside. Yeah. So the Dulux box set actually consists uh, not only on the uh, limited edition 24K golden skin, uh, the, the, the skin itself, uh, it comes with a number guarantee that uh, will that will be numbered from number one all the way to seventy thousand four hundred and sixty, uh, and you also come along with a membership card uh, that we will uh, that is recognized by DMC France, and this membership card is actually transferable. Uh, you can actually pass it on from generation to generation. Let's say, for example, you will uh, you like to have this uh, deluxe box set for your grandmother. Uh, your grandmother loves your daughter. So you will actually uh, purchase it and then you have to register with DMC Asia Pacific to, uh, to write in to us that you actually have purchased this with a valid receipt. So we will actually reward you with a membership card and with your grandmother's name on it. So your grandmother actually wanted to uh, maybe give it away as a dowry or uh, maybe uh, a gift for your mom or your, maybe yourself, you know, uh, your grandchildren or things like that. So they will pass it on to the next person and then the next person you have to register with us and then we will actually reissue you that this number, let's say for example 2000, box 2000, will be given to the following person that uh, you want. And then, so this membership warranty will, uh, DMC uh, will recognize it and then it will continue to pass on from generation to generation. Yeah, so this is actually a lifetime uh, membership card that we will recognize that only you yourself is carrying the number 2000 in the whole wide world because um, I emphasize that it's only 17,460 boxes in the whole world so they are not going to manufacture the Dulux box set anymore. Yeah. And uh, so the hardcover actually comes with, uh, uh, the hardcover box itself comes with actually a book that uh, talk about a bit of uh, DMC history as well as uh, museum pieces all the way from France. And uh, there's also a message card on top of the box. Uh, so you can actually dedicate to somebody, uh, to, to a loved ones that you actually wanted to give to. Okay, so um, just to maybe talk a bit about you know, the current activities that we are running. So this year is our 270th anniversary. So we are running a, a series of events uh, in Singapore as well, uh, uh, end, of the, end of the year. So we are, having a craft competition right now. So if let's say you're interesting, uh, interested of uh, doing craft work, uh, you can actually sign up with us. Uh, any uh, interest uh, crafters that you want to sign up on, on, you can actually let us know later, we will uh, come to you. And uh, on top of that, we actually having, uh, okay, so this is uh, to talk about the craft competition. On top of that, we uh, having a lucky draw. So. Every 12 skins of uh, 117 purchase, you will be uh, given one chance of uh, lucky draw. So this, uh, we actually bought some kit pack. So the kit pack actually consists of 12 skins of 117. So if you are interested, you can actually purchase it from us. Yeah. And then uh, the grand prize of the craft competition, uh, because the finalists of the Singapore team uh, will get to represent Singapore to actually uh, compete with other countries in Asia Pacific. And uh, on 17 of December at the Art House, we are having our uh, grand finals, which is called the Craft Masters Challenge. Uh, so the finalists, uh, the top winner will actually get to win a pair of tickets to France. Uh, the grand lucky draw for, for the Mali draw, a pair of Star Cruise tickets as well as the final uh, lucky draw will also win a pair of tickets to France. So on top of that, we have other, other activities uh, as well. So if you're interested, you want to find out more, you can actually let us know too. Yeah. Okay, so uh, today actually I passed on uh, a mailing list. So you can actually register with us, uh, subscribe to us, and then 
uh, I will send you a promo code uh, and uh, tomorrow, uh, and then you will be able to use this promo code for ten percent off on our e-commerce platform. Uh, so just to try out uh, Is it online purchase. Online purchase. Yeah. Yeah. Online purchase. Okay. Hopefully we can have uh, Veronica <laughs> to the show. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, just a bit of uh, hands-on work. Uh, so let's start doing some crafting together. So uh, I pass on the uh, idea that we for every one of you. So you will actually uh, start, you know, mm. combining and uh, track. And Bonita will actually guide you along on how to actually start on the Yeah, 
Remember the point one to point two, point three, point four, point five, point six. So you try doing a uh, one row.
one one because you're afraid that you might forget which way you from. So by doing this, you will remember which way you from. So on the way they say I need to do four courses, right? So I So when you go back, when you do this, remember your process how it's Okay, and if you notice, the track behind is held down. Single model. Okay, then what happens is, if you trim it off, 